And the stars keep rolling in. Darren Jones, last time I saw you, you were in your bathroom in Los Angeles, and just like that, you're here. I feel like we should be in the bathroom at the Ritz Carlton. This is too glamorous. I mean, you look <laughs> glamorama. The, so the do spikes you. on those shoes. I don't know oh, if you're allowed thank you, to honey. like. Good, like it's like a. You I'm know. not used to wearing such a fancy footwear, but it is Tiff after all. And happy Tiff to you. You happy have been tiff. tiffing for many years. So you started. Was it 15 years ago with your own show? We did a show called Buzz back in the old days, and and a bit that we used to do is go outside the uh, what's the building there? The Roy Thompson. The Roy Thompson, and we'd set up a red carpet across the street from the real red carpet. <laughs> And I would get a, like a, a bullhorn out, and I would shout Classy. things at the celebs. And like, so like you probably were on the red carpet trying to do your job, <laughs> and there's a jackass across the street bothering, like shouting things. How did that work out for you? Did anybody actually yes. traverse over to your side show? Kenneth Branagh, he crossed the street, he chatted with us, and we had like there were like loads of fans and hanging out by our our bootleg our bootleg red carpet, we called it. Uh, we should try that now that it's I'm like all you. grown up. Tiff, I wonder if people would still respond to that because you see, you. it's changed a ton. It's it's a very corporate situation. However, I will say the, the stars do love to party. It is the People's Festival and that if you get out and you go to these parties and you walk the streets and you head to Yorkville to the restaurants there, you could actually mingle with the stars. They're yes. very laid back and they love being amongst everybody, you know, the Torontonians. Oh. George Clooney is passed out in the lobby right now. Right now. You could go, you could go and pants him if you wanted to right now. <laughs> you walked over him on the step and repeat <laughs> to get here this morning. I did, so yeah. yeah, it's going to be wall to wall stars it's all so weekend much, long. It's fun. And you know what? If you want to get photos or like autographs, you can just hang out and you're gonna run into people. It's true. And heckle. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, <laughs> loving the beer, beard yes, beard no. I'm pro Jake Gyllenhaal. He can do no wrong as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. I interviewed him once and see this is Okay, actually, I do have a problem with Jake Gyllenhaal. Why? He's one of those guys where it's all kind of working out real well. Like, he's handsome, and then we What's did What's up a, with that? He pulled up his shirt, and he's got, like, these... What are they called? Uh, are they called abs? Abs. I heard abs. about those. Are those... Like, 12-pack, 6-pack? Yeah, pack? he's, like, attractive and intelligent. And now I just realized that I hate Jake Gyllenhaal. Right, you thought you loved him, yeah. and then you realize he's got way too much going on yeah. for him. And he's yeah. apparently a really nice guy, too, although he didn't talk to Kevin. Another reason to hate him, but he didn't talk oh, to anybody. why didn't he talk to Kevin? Well, you know how it is. You know, they, they did all the talking last night at the carpet and they want to get into the press conference and he kind of just did a wave to the fans and walked he kind of shut and, and you know i haven't us. met kevin but he's very intimidating he so is. you know if if, if kevin <laughs> he's kind of got like a like a like a mob thing go oh my god oh, here no, he is he's here he can Don hear us. kevin kev here, he was look. raving about you darren so had nothing problem? but <laughs> your problem i would say you've got a uh, you're in, you've got an intimidating stature and that's probably why jake gyllenhaal didn't want to hang with you but but why would naomi want to talk to that's, me that she gave him lots of time uh, almost too much she was almost late for her own appearance. I don't think she likes beards. I oh, think that's what it is with Naomi. Really? Yeah. Breaking news. Okay. So who else are you looking forward to seeing? Because I know you've got I, a big I just, event. I, I got to appreciate what I just experienced. I that's appreciated Kev. the Don Kevin experience. He, he rolls in. Don he likes he smells to like ambush. high karate. It's amazing. <laughs> you've got a wicked hosting <laughs> gig tonight with the Property Brothers. We love yes. Scott and Drew. So what's that all about? So so the Property Brothers, they, they flew me in to host their red carpet. They do this producer's ball, which is kind of like a celebration of the producers and the people who work hard on the on, uh, uh, on the films, and it's got a, an awesome Canadian bent cool. at the uh, at the ROM tonight. Who do you like better, Drew or Scott? I can't tell any of them apart. They're like these tall, kind of like handsome, rugged like mountain giants who kind of roam the hills. I don't know. They, they, I just say yes, sir, and I cash the check. Have a good time. Check out his Twitter at Darren Jones, D A R Y N Y, because we love him. This is the first time we've met in person. Person. And I'm so thrilled to be here. Somebody flush the toilet. We'll be back with more BT right after this. <laughs> I still class. miss the washroom. That was the best. <laughs> Breakfast Television is brought to you by Leon's. For furniture, mattresses, appliances, and TVs, you'll find your style at leons or leons.ca.